Hello, Virgo. This is your September 2019 reading. And remember, it will not resonate with all Virgos, but this is for those born under the zodiac sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It doesn't matter, whatever's dominant in their chart. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping to get some new energies here. Uh, we already know that last last month you were having maybe a decision-making time, maybe torn what you were needing to do. And it may carry on from that, or I may get a different energy. And remember, everybody's on a different timetable. Um, some may have already experienced this energy, a very few. A, a lot of you will be experiencing it when I say you're going to experience it, and others will. a few others will maybe a little afterwards, you know. The energy is different for everybody, but this is for Virgo. This is for Virgo, September 2019. The energies, hopefully new energies, coming in for Virgo. Hopefully positive energies coming in for Virgo. See what the beginning energy is, and I, like I said, we'll look for a positive reading, but we don't get one. We always work it out, you know, figure out what to do about it. September energy. Say, I think you had this before. Coming out of as coming in to September, the Eight of Swords in, re, in reverse. So you you are breaking free out of a situation where you feel trapped, mentally trapped. One of my lights is out, so I got to really put this up there. But it's the Eight of Swords, and, and the Eight of Swords in reverse is what you're wanting. It's like it starts out in the upright, and then it turns slowly as as things are leaving, as that energy is leaving. It's still there, but it is leaving. So, subject at hand, you were gaining strength, Virgo. Getting stronger, are we? Strength card in the uprights. Great card. It's crossing it. The Queen of Cups. This could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or emotions. Maybe you're trying to get your emotions under control. Or maybe that's what you're going for. It doesn't necessarily have to be a negative thing. Strength and the Queen of Cups are very good together. What crowns you, your goal, you're getting to work with the Nine of Wands. You're thinking about how to reconfigure things around you, how to deal with things around you, and go for it passionately. But right now, you're, um, or in September, you're going to be looking at a, you're going, to, you're going to assess the situation, and then you're going to work on it with the Nine of Wands in the upright. And remember, when I start clarifying, I can change up the story. So I'm just, you know, putting them out right now. There's a foundation, two of swords in reverse. Someone, some of you could be putting your swords down in a situation where before you refuse to see things how they were. It also could be maybe some of you may be letting some boundaries down, but not necessarily. Could be that you were trying to before kind of keep to yourself in a way. Or like I said, not see things how they were, but now you're like, okay, I'm ready now. I can I can handle this. In the past. It was a judgment against you or against somebody around you, or maybe you made a decision, a final decision on something. Before you were having trouble with it, but I gotta clarify for sure, because a judgment card in reverse could be either you haven't made a decision or the decision was made. And that sounds stupid. That's why we have the clarifiers. Um, but it, a decision maybe was made, maybe that's why you were gaining strength. Maybe I see with the Nine of Wands, you're thinking about that judgment situation. Okay, let's do something about this. Near future, the chariot in reverse, you may put a halt to something. You may stop something else in your life. Things that you were seeing before, you may say, I'm going to put a halt to something because you're stronger now. You are working on something passionately with a lot of energy. A lot of energy. Possible future outcome or advice from the universe. You may be dealing with the Knight of Swords. This could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Or someone with sharp words. Or someone that's a little chaotic in how they try to do things. So it could be the universe telling you to watch your words. Watch how you speak. Because it could come across wrong to other people. But it looks like you may not care. But we'll we'll find out. It's it's not that you don't care. It's just that you need to do what you need to do with that nine of wands. I mean, you're going to go for what you're doing. 
It's just the way it is. What is coming towards you is the three of wands in reverse or the outside environment. The reason why you are doing this is the reason why. It's the outside environment where things weren't coming in the way you expected them to. And we will clarify that too. It's um it's why you're regaining strength. You're feeling like I gotta do something now. I have to take this blindfold off. I can't just uh, pretend it's not happening. So now I gotta do something. And so I see you, I think some of you may make a decision, but you know, like I said, I still gotta clarify hopes and fears. You're hoping for an emotional new beginning, something that will come to you that you love. You, you're wanting the things that, that, um, that bring you emotional contentment. And this is what you're aiming for. This is what are you're wanting, new beginnings, um, new starts of an emotional nature that you love, you know? Final outcome, Knight of Cups. I love the Knight of Cups. Always have like the Knight of Cups. Always will like like, like the Knight of Cups. I'm gonna straighten this just a, is it straightening? Oh well, we'll fix it later. But the Knight of Cups, I love the Knight of Cups. It can be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. The Knight of Cups brings you the things that you do love a lot of times. It's like someone comes to you and say, here, I got this for you, and I want you to take it. And, and usually when in the upright, you really like it, you know? So you may accept a new cup from somebody, emotional cup, something that you will love again. So let's go back to the beginning. You are regaining strength, Virgo. I'm glad. I'm using another deck, which I do meditate on before I even turn on the video. I, I shuffle, 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 and I have to meditate. Um, sometimes I can go on for a while, but the strength card, you're dealing with the strength card, and it's a good card to have. I mean, it's your energy is going to come back. It's going to be, um, you're going to feel alive again in some way. Uh, what's crossing is the Queen of Cups, and I don't think the Queen of Cups is necessarily a uh, a negative situation when it's crossing you this time. I'm thinking that this is what you're going for is the cups energy, like in the end there. But let's find out for sure. So the strength card in the upright, queen of cups, that's crossing it while you're there for Virgo in September. September 2019. Yeah, there you are contemplating again. That's, you know, you're contemplating on what didn't work. With the seven of pentacles, there's someone looking in the past, and they, I, I feel that you're taking on the energy now that you have strength to work on something. Now I must work on this. And you're looking at it. Let's, I'll show you. This is a seven of pentacles. See how that guy in the picture, he's looking at all them pentacles. He goes, now what am I, what am I going to do next with this? How am I going to work with this? What do I want to do next? He's contemplating on what to do. The same way with, with crowns you with the um, nine of wands. <laughs> Got to shuffle these right. So they got the strength card. So the Nine of Wands is also deciding to take action on something that needs to be worked on. So let's go back to the strength card in the upright. Queen of Cups crossing it. Seven of Pentacles in the upright. There's a subject at hand in September. Why are you there? For Virgo. Something about messages that didn't come through or an email that you, that you did not receive or some of you. Yeah, you're looking at something that failed. You're gaining strength over messages that you didn't like or messages that you were ignoring with the Eight of Wands in reverse. So now you're going to be looking at the maybe return some messages or thinking about, what, about a message that you received that you're thinking, okay, what am I going to do next? So what crowns you, we got to go there first, it is the Nine of Wands. Like I said, you may go through a passionate situation where you want to work on something and, you know, really get up and go and do it. And so the Nine of Wands in the upright while you're there for Virgo is what crowns them. On your home, happy home, you want a happy home. You're going for your happiness with the Four of Wands in the upright, you know, enjoying your family, enjoying your friends, even, you know, just having a happy life in general. You're wanting it back. And that's what you're going to work on. You're making a decision to do this. So the Nine of Wands, the Four of Wands, both in the upright, that's what crowns Virgo <clears throat> or their goal. Great goal. And you're going to fight for it with the Five of Swords. You're going to say, this is what I'm doing. I'm doing this because you, you're stronger now. You're able to, you're able to take this on. Now, the foundation, you have the Two of Swords in reverse, seeing things for how they are now. 
or before maybe you weren't the energy was still there and you're still thinking wow you know I got I can't put this off anymore so the two of swords in reverse while you're there for Virgo as a foundation so you're contemplating on something yeah you're going for your ten of Pentacles yeah you're starting to regain strength going for your overall stability your final outcome of the stability you are wanting which you're always wanting with the ten of Pentacles and there's nothing wrong with that so you're th you're seeing things clearly now and you're going for this you're going towards this ten of Pentacles so the two of swords in reverse ten of Pentacles in the upright while you're there for Virgo as the foundation I can't wait to get to the Knight of Cubs yeah, and don't second guess yourself. You're, you're still kind of a little, you know, second guessing yourself, but no need, okay? You got something really good coming at the end, but we got to get to the don't, don't, don't skip forward too much because there are details that need to be addressed before you get to that night. So in the past, we have judgment in reverse. Maybe, you know, you made a decision against something or for something or had to make a final decision. You just had to. And, um, it wasn't fun. It wasn't fun. And for some of you, someone could have done this with you. But the judgment in reverse in the past, and I'm glad it's in the past because I know you were torn with something, torn between a decision. The judgment in reverse while you're there in the past for Virgo in September. The emperor in reverse. You, you judged against something or something, something was amiss. And it had something to do with the Emperor in reverse, could do, do with an Aries, but I think it's someone that was something that was out of control, an over controlling situation or person that needed to be made a judgment against. It was a harsh judgment, and maybe you were treated unfairly, and that's maybe why you, you needed peace at first with the Two of Swords, but now you're coming out of that, you're going towards your goals now. Now, you may put a, a halt to something because I see you, like I said, contemplating on something. Where you're happy home, you're fighting for it. So you may actually put an end to some kind of riffraff that you don't like. Just so you can go for your Ten of Pentacles. So the chariot in reverse while you're there. For Virgo in the very near future in September. That's the that's going to come up pretty quickly. Yeah, because something has chained you down that you didn't like with the devil. A lot of people say it's a Capricorn. It can be if, it, if that was resonating with you. But to me, it's, it's like something is <clears throat> chaining you down, holding you down, something that's weighing on you. Some people call it obsessions. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's addictions. Sometimes it's addictions to people, um, substance abuse sometimes, anything like that. Or, or, you know, I'm thinking it's mostly your life in general, what was just tying you down. It had to do with your stability. So you're putting a halt to the devil, Okay. We're putting a halt to the devil energy, the chained energy. So, the chariot in reverse, the devil in the upright while you're there. I'm seeing a lot of you putting a halt to something. For a very, yeah, you're going to put a halt up. For a minute there, I was going to say some of you may have been stuck in this something, but I don't think so because I see you were gaining strength. Now I see the ace of swords where you say your truth, and it's a really good truth. It's something that needs to be said that you need to say to people, I'm tired of being stuck. You're probably saying this to yourself. I'm not longer going to be stuck. I'm going to go forward now and speak my truth and do it very, very well. The Ace of Swords is something you're starting again. It's something new that you're going to do. Something that you probably didn't do before. So keep that in mind. Now the possible future outcome and advice from the universe. Remember, I got three outcomes. The near outcome, possible future outcome, and the final outcome. So we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. You see that? No ring light, but it's kind of a dark light because one of my lights are out, the other light. But the Knight of Swords is uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, possibly. It doesn't have to be. This is grabbing. These cards grab with this tablecloth. The Knight of Swords can have sharp words, so be careful. The only thing I can see you that you should be careful of with the universe is don't get it too aggressive with your words. It's good to go for what you're wanting, but just be careful of who you stomp on getting to it, you know, because somebody can get really hurt. <clears throat> so Knight of Swords in reverse while you're there for Virgo as a possible future outcome or advice from the universe. I'm thinking it's advice from the universe. Yeah, Queen of Swords, uh, rule well. When you do this, be be very intelligent. Go, go towards... Uh, 
do it wisely when you when you speak your words with the Queen of Swords because they're right next to that Knight of Swords, which is a disruptive energy, and it's going towards a po more positive way of expressing yourself. So make sure you're very clear. I'm not saying you shouldn't be stern and not turn away. I'm just saying that you're dealing with people with a little bit of emotions here, and that could be with is the cross the crossing of the Queen of Cups. You're regaining strength, but remember the Queen of Cups is very sensitive. So. Knight of Swords in reverse, Queen of Swords in the upright, why you're there for Virgo as a possible future outcome or advice from the universe, September. Yeah, walk away from harsh realities or walk away from the arguments, but go for the positives that are coming in because the, the Eight of Cups is about someone unable to walk away. And it's like, if you're unable to walk away, it could get a little disruptive. Now, I'm talking about fighting. I'm not talking about going for what you're wanting. Because I'm seeing, like, harsh words here. And um, you may want to consider walking away from harsh words. I think some of you may have a couple, you know, um, what you're wanting to say straight out, no matter what. Because if you don't, you feel like your ships won't come in. But don't worry about that. It's just the universe telling you to watch your words a little bit. Because people with the cups energy won't be able to handle it. And you do got a nice little cups energy at the very end. And they seem very, very kind if it's the same type of energy coming towards you. Or at the end, I should say. Now, what is coming towards you or the outside environment? I do believe this is the outside environment. The reason why you're doing all this is because your ships hadn't come in. The things you were wanting weren't coming in the way you, you wanted it to. And it looks like you had to make a decision on what you need and you did. But now you're going forward. The three of wands in reverse, the outside environment. <clears throat> why are you there for Virgo? Knight of Cups, yep. Yep. Oh, I love that Knight of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, possibly, but it's also, um, yeah, I see that things aren't coming in, did not come in as, as the outside environment, and you're looking towards now the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is, is saying, take my cup. Now, remember, with, like, remember what I said about the words? Be careful with the words, because the Knight of Cups is offering you something. For some of you, you may be a little harsh towards them. And, and this is saying that they're in the upright and they mean well. So the Three of Wands in reverse, Knight of Cups in the upright, while you're there as the outside environment. I also see for some of you this Knight of Cups kind of coming towards you. But you're like, you were keeping to yourself and you got a Knight of Cups coming towards you. You were keeping to yourself because the ships weren't coming in. You were thinking, how am I going to get through this? And then a Knight comes. And I'm not talking about a Knight in Shining Armor, even though sometimes it is. Someone that is very useful, like I said, in an emotional sense. They're come, they, They're going to work with you as this outside environment from ships not coming in. But be careful how you speak to them. I don't think you're going to be too... Most of you are going to be okay with this. I think you're going to realize that um, <clears throat> they're sensitive people. But you are going to speak your truth, but you're just going to, you know, maybe curb it a little. So the Ace of Cups is your hopes and fears. You're wanting this. You're wanting this pleasant um, new start that's an emotional nature, that's something you love. And, you know, it's a wonderful type feeling to have, to want this. And, and if, you're, if you're able to, you can manifest this, you know, if you believe in it. So the Ace of Cups and the hopes and fears while you're there for Virgo. Why are you there? Yeah, make a sound decision. That's what you're wanting. Remember, you had judge, judgment reverse back here. And it looks like you are, but that's what you're going for. That's your hope. You're making a sound decision now, finally. And it's able. you're able to um, get something you really love. So Ace of Cups in the upright, judgment in the upright, in the hopes and fears and manifestations. Why are you there for Virgo? It's good reading. Yeah, and you're not wanting to do it. nothing with manipulation. That's your fear. No manipulation no more. You're tired of manipulation with the magician in reverse. So you're going for the love, the, the things that you love. You're making a final decision. You are going to do that. Uh, but you're going to tell somebody or people around you, I'm not doing the manipulative stuff. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not going to take that from anybody anymore. So in the end, you got the Knight of Cups offering you the cup. You know, offering you friendship, love, things that you love, you know. So Knight of Cups in the upright. You have it twice, so it's very important in your spread. 
Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, possibly, or just someone very, very um, welcoming. Why are you there for Virgo in the very end? Oh, yeah. You're going to like this message. Oh, Virgo. You're going to like this message in September if you accept it. Please accept it. Well, you know, it's up to you. I, I, I'm told not to tell people what to do, and I shouldn't, because we already got the advice from the universe saying, watch your words with the cups energy. But I see you really liking this. I do. And it's up to you whether you accept this cups energy. And for some of you that are having an ounce with a knight of cups, uh, you may it may work out. It may work out if you want it to. So Knight of Cups in the upright, Page of Cups in the upright. Why there's a final outcome? Why are they going to like this? Why are you going to like this? And come in anxiety. Coming out of sleep, not being able to sleep at night with the Nine of Swords in reverse. And things move forward again. So you put a halt to one thing. It was chaining you down. You make it a conscious decision to work on something. You may even look at messages that were missed or you refused to answer them before. And now you're ready. You regain strength to go for the things you want in a happy home. Just watch for your words because they may cut like a knife. Okay? Got a couple of swords energy here that can get pretty harsh. Remember, if you're dealing with the cups energy, it really does cut them when, when they get this type of energy against them. The outside environment is why this is happening. They call it coming towards you or the outside environment. It's beyond your control. It's what's going on. Ships didn't come in, but the night is there. And you're thinking upon, what should I do next with the night? But the night is coming towards you. See, the night is coming towards you. And there you are. You see, you're talking to each other. You're, you're um, communicating. But you're saying to them, um, I want to do this. And I was down and out for a while. And then night is giving you the cup. And like I told you about the hopes and fears, go for what you're hoping for, manifest it, because it's coming in and make a decision to do so. And do away from, you know, people that were manipulating you or manipulations that even you may be involved with in the past. I see really good energies coming in at the end with the Knight of Cups and that Page of Cups. That's a messenger also handing you a positive message of an emotional nature oftentimes. Other times it could be a younger type, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or someone young at heart. And it is bringing you an anxiety and you do move on from a stagnant situation where you weren't making a decision. Guess what? You're living life now in September. Use it. Work with it. It's a good energy. You use it well and wisely. And I'll talk to you later and upload it as soon as I can. Bye.